one of the biggest lessons in life is to never underestimate your opponent. Coming into this week, we're playing the Houston Texans. They were 0-5. As a great philosopher once said, I'm going to get got. But I'm going to get mine more than I'm going to get got. And on any given Sunday, it could be your day to get got. All right, so we got the ball first. We got to see what we can do with it. Even though the Texans are 0 and 5, we cannot play around with these people. All right, let's go to the bread and butter. First play of the game, we're going to go straight to it. We, I'm telling you, we got to get straight to the money. We got to get straight to the money. And that is caught downfield by Thomas. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. If I was on FanDuel, you should have took me for the passing yards today. You should have took the over. <laughs> you should have took the over. Oh, good block, good block, good block. I'm going back. I told y'all I'm not playing. Let's hand it off. Let's give myself a breather. A breather. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying it right. It don't sound right. Oh, we got him. He got out of bounds. You already know what time it is. You know what time it is. You, you personally, if you've been watching the videos, you know what time it is. Quarterback sneak. It's time for prime time. They're 0 and 5. They're going to be 0 and 6 after this week. Six points of the ball game. Do you go back to the stops made at the ten? We gotta establish this run game too. Camara, try to run. There we go, Camara. Oh, we got a block. That's a touchdown. We got a flag. Here we go. Somebody was holding. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Somebody was holding. Holding offense. Every time. Every time. Every time somebody's running tomorrow. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You gotta go back to Because that's crazy. Every time we get a big run, it always gets called back. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, look at that. Can he beat one man? Can he beat one man? And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Good set, y'all. Is mano e mano. Here we go, come here. It's third and 19. I threw it on the money. If he caught it, it would have been a first down. But he just dropped it. There's nothing I can do. I just got to... There's nothing... Ah, the accuracy. Will Anderson is a menace. I'm not going to lie. All right, I'm going to just hand it off, see if we can get some yards to make an easy third down. On second down Four a third and six is way more manageable than a third and ten. Now we're going to see if we can get old, reliable. They need to make up some ground and they did. Old, reliable. Is that a touchdown? He do got some speed. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 
A big play there on the catch and run. 33 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up. All right, let's do a little play action. Michael Thomas, toe tapping, toe tapping. Right, eight seconds I took, I'm trying to find plays right now because there is a lot of plays that we got that I don't use that that works really good See, now we're at a third and two that this is way better It feels like uh, I, I think I want to hand it off. We're going to give it to Kamara. I feel good for him to. I thought he was going to break it, but I felt good about him picking up two yards. All right, we're going to PA cross it. Little play action. We ran it that time. Oh my! I thought some. I thought it was about to be a helmet cheese. He was wide open. Yeah, I was upset at that one. Will Anderson, he's been a, the whole Texans line. Oh, he's wide open. He's wide open. He, what? Oh, he ran right under the ball and still didn't catch it. All right, I don't feel good about third and 10, but when we got a bread and butter play like this, if everybody do their job, great pass protection. Let's see. There we go. All right, we starting to find these money plays. If anything, I'm going to flip the play because it's always good when you can flip the play when you're on the opposite hash. So that gives me more room to scramble if I want to scramble. Back to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Again, it's Johnson. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside. The oh, they're not ready. Alvin, can, wait, 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 wait. Can I stretch this? I don't have PA stretch. I would have loved to stretch it. But Alvin Kamara, one on one? I'll take him over anybody. Alright, let's see what I got going on over here. They'll look to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. Nobody's open though. <laughs> I'm not gonna force nothing. It's three minutes. And we're up by two two scores. I'm not gonna force nothing that doesn't need to be forced. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Alright, let's go bread and butter. Let's flip the play actually. This is third and ten. Let's flip it, give myself more room to operate. Even though I got to go on Will Anderson's side, this man got six sacks on the day, I think. Play fake. He'll look to throw. All right, he got separation. That's what I was looking for. Down with another first down as the stops made at the that, that what I, that's what I was looking for. He held on to the ball. Charles.
Charles coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense Final two and a half? I like this because this is a stretch and you can do hurry up off of it. The display and now they look to polish it off. And he'll wind up. Mara, what is you doing, baby? At the 21 yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, look at that. Back of the end zone. Toward the back ah. Zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind I didn't even throw a bullet. I lofted it. Safe to call this game over, but, they're still but I had to try it. I had to try it. He was open. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the other. A wise man once told me, there's going to be three things in life. That's always guaranteed. Death, taxes, and the three ball. As you know the old saying, you live by the three, you die by the three. Everybody loves a good old fashioned head tap, a slam dunk. The old people say, five slammer jammer. But the new kids, we got that burner. In this game, I had the third, no Steph Curry. And it couldn't came any sooner. After coming off a disappointing first game, we had to bounce back in a big way. What more can I say? The three ball always saves the day.